Hello, this is Ryan Roy. In this video, I'd like to go over with you some of the plugins that I've been developing for Lightwave. These are all in-house tools that I've made not only to significantly improve the rigging and animation workflows of this 3D software, but also to address some of the things that have just kind of bugged me in general. Let's take a look at these first set of commercial tools that I'm making available on Liberty3D.com. Translate Average is an extremely handy tool to have. Basically, select whatever items you want, run the tool, and you end up with this null. Scaling and rotating this null will cause the items to move along the average of their positions. Running the tool again gets rid of the null and keys the affected items into their new positions and reselects all of the items for you in case you need to run this tool again. Think of this as a manipulation mode of sorts. You can animate things controlled by Translate Average as well. Select your items, run the tool, place a few scale keyframes in the timeline, and wherever your playhead is positioned, when you run the tool, it will bake the animation of all the items for you before removing the constraints created by Translate Average. This is a general purpose tool, so you can use it to adjust rigs, or for animating motion graphics, or simply to make moving around multiple things much easier. I recommend setting this tool to a hotkey like Control shift t for easy accessibility as I consider this a frequent use function. Play around with it and you might find that the value of a simple tool like this can greatly increase your productivity. Next on the list is Grabber, and it does exactly as its name implies, and it kind of functions as dynamic parenting without messing with the hierarchies of any objects. Most commonly, this function is useful to character animators. If you want to have this figure pick up this box, simply move the character's hand over it, run the tool on the hand, select the object, run the tool again. Any keyframes passed where you ran the tool will now make the box behave as if it were attached to the hand. Grabber also keyframes the interpolation envelopes for you, so if you want to adjust the box's animation before the character grabs it, you can do that without ever visiting the graph editor. Keep in mind that this tool is multi-select aware, so if there's a pile of candy, for instance, that your character needs to pick up, no problemo. This can be extremely handy when paired with Translate Average. Bleed Keys is a simple tool designed to make editing densely keyframed animations easier. Running the tool deletes keyframes adjacent to the playhead. The more times the tool is run without moving the playhead, the more keys that get deleted. This tool operates on everything you have selected, and if you want specific parameters, Know that this tool derives its function off of the native delete key dialog, so if you want specific channel deletions with bleed keys, that's not a problem at all. Bone scale to rest length is a rigging tool. In native Lightwave layout, at least as of 11.6.3, you cannot scale a hierarchy of bones efficiently. The built-in tool for doing this nags you with prompts every time you use it, and it only works on one item at a time. The manipulation is also not undoable, and it requires extra key presses. The guides are hard to see. It's just far too clumsy for practical use. RR Bone Scale to Rest allows you to scale the bones of your hierarchies freely. If I want to shorten this character's limbs, with this tool I can simply scale the bones, execute the script, and the bone hierarchy's bone rest lengths are adjusted properly. Notice how the bones I had selected are back to a scale of 1, 1, 1. This tool can effectively eliminate the need to ever work with Skeletons and Modeler, and it can help you keep most of your rigging workflow in layout where it belongs. Relative Prep is a tool specific to the workflow of relative motion loading. While relative motion loading provides capabilities not found in most 3D animation programs, something I know people were bothered about is the number of steps and some of the complexity required to construct these types of motions and save them into a usable file. So in response, I made a tool that cuts out about 95% of the work involved. Once you've created your animation, 
select two toe bones on your character. Now I've made this process as user friendly as possible by having the script automatically figure out which foot is which, which foot is extended, and whether the character is oriented along the positive or negative Z axis. So all you have to do is select two bones, run the script, and ensure that your keyframe range matches exactly the length of the animation. When it finishes, set the bake spots on the foot bind nulls and save the animation. Note that the naming convention of the scaler and its bind null children must match that which is used in the training content of the IK Booster Comprehensive Guide. Okay, that's it for the commercial tools, and you can purchase them at liberty3d.com right now for a very reasonable price. But also know that there are some freebies as well that may be of significant interest to you. The RR Bone Pin tool, for instance, will allow you to anchor things in place so that if a parent item needs to move independently of their children, you can do that. This tool does not modify, unparent, or reparent anything, so IK Booster users may find this tool especially handy. When you run the Bone Unpin tool, it will remove all of the bone pins from the entire scene and key all of the pinned items in place at the position of the playhead. The symmetry editing tools that I've made are primarily for rigging characters with. Native Lightwave layout lacks easy ways to modify your rig symmetrically, so I have addressed this problem by making a few tools and functions of my own. Just set symmetry options to tell the symmetry scripts what to look for in the bone names that determine what is left and what is right, and the plugins work off of that. Turning off symmetry keyframes all of the opposite side bones into their new positions and removes any constraints. There's also a function for symmetrizing the bone rest length, which I consider an occasional use tool handy for if you need to do specific bone rest length adjustments and want to transfer them over to the other side of your character. Most often, a user will be executing the script while symmetry edit mode is enabled. Finally, multi-add and remove relativity is a very simple tool that unlocks the bulk management features of this particular motion modifier by eliminating this problem. Yeah, normally you can only add motion modifiers one item at a time, but now you can add relativity to any number of items and go to town with its powerful features. Okay, that's it. If you really enjoyed the free tools that I published, consider purchasing the commercial RR Tools plugins to gain even more workflow advantages that are proven and have been used in commercial productions. Thanks for watching. This is Ryan Roy signing off.